Hey guys, Bob McBride, Black Powder TV. Today we're gonna to do a video in our new shooter series on disassembling a lock. What you're gonna need, first of all, is your lock and a screwdriver. So something like this set from Chapman, a uh, really good set of screwdrivers. The main thing with, with the gunsmithing screwdrivers is that the tip is not um, wedged like a normal screwdriver it's like this. So that tip can go deep into the screw head and not mar your screw heads up. So that's what you need. So you need that and you also need a spring clamp. So we're gonna go on over to the workbench and take a look at getting this lock apart and back together. So let's head over. All right guys, so here we are at the workbench. First thing we're gonna do is get this project out of the way. This is my winter project coming up this winter. Uh, 52 inch barrel smooth bore. This is gonna be an English fouling piece, uh, turkey gun for me. So 52 inch barrel, this is a really long, beautiful piece of, of maple. And, uh, and I'm real excited. That's what this Kibler lock is for that I've been showing you on some videos. So let's get this, uh, get this thing out of the way and we'll get uh, right to this lock. All right guys, so the first thing I like to do when disassembling a lock is getting the uh, flint out because that thing will cut you like you wouldn't believe. It'll go right to the bone. So get the flint out, get the leather out, and the first thing then we're going to do is get the springs off. So pull this thing back to half cock, which is gonna compress your spring here, your main spring. So you'll notice on your spring clamp that you have got a top bracket that's part of the main body, and then you've got a rotating piece. That rotating piece always goes on the long. This is the long leg. This bracket is on the end of the body. This long leg will go on the long leg of your spring. Get the short end of the, uh, of the spring clamp as close as you can to the end of the short leg of the spring, and you're gonna give it some tension. Just a little bit of tension, and then you're gonna release your hammer, and that's gonna take your spring off of the tumbler and allow you to remove it. And we're gonna catch the spring on the, the frizzen. So, so just enough tension on your frizzen spring to take it from resting on the, uh, the pan and the, uh, the frizzen leg itself. So see that is a little loose. So that's what you want, just a little bit of pressure. So we'll get this screw off that holds the frizzen spring in and keep your screws together with the parts they go with because these screws are the typically going to be the same or very similar size but they're all going to be different lengths so you want to get the correct length back with the correct part so now we've got our springs off main spring is out all of this moves freely frizzen springs off the frizzen moves freely so the next thing is gonna be, and you see why I said take off um, the, uh, the flint, because you're gonna be grabbing a hold of this and you don't want to be anywhere near that flint. Especially me, carpal tunnel surgery the other day, a couple of weeks ago right here, I don't need any of that. So that's why I'm not shooting lately, besides it being cold outside, is because my, uh, my hands are toast. get the frizzing out. Put that screw right back in. So the next thing we're gonna do is take the bridle off. And the bridle is this piece that rests over the top of your sear and your tumbler and holds it all down square. Before you take this completely out, you need to get the the sear spring loose. So the sear spring 
screw is there. Here's the sear spring and it holds the seal in the downward position. Not a big deal. So sear spring is out and keep that screw with the sear, the sear spring. And then we should be able to take that bridle right out of there. And then that's gonna come right out. Keep those two screws in the bridle and set that aside. You're also gonna have your sear come loose. And those of you that really don't know about gun jargon, the sear is the thing that the trigger trips that trips the mechanism. So there's a sear in modern pistols, modern guns, and there's a sear in traditional muzzle loaders as well. So the only thing left now is the tumbler and the very tiny little part that moves back and forth in the tumbler, which is called the fly, and that's a very small part. Be careful not to lose it. And the cock, the cock screw holds the cock on to the tumbler through the plate. So those are connected together and press fit. So you can either be really careful and leave that fly in, very small part, or you can set it aside. And if you've got something like this that's gonna hold your parts, then just go ahead and set it aside. So now we're gonna take the cock screw off. Now once this screw is off, you're gonna notice that this cock does not wanna come off. It is press fit together and you're gonna need something that is going to fit inside the square hole on the cock, but yet too large to fit in and damage the threads. And the easiest way to do this is to come over here to the vise. And punch that out. So you've got your cock and you've got your tumbler and you've got your lock plate. So thanks guys. If you like this video, please like, please subscribe. If you want to see something else related, please leave a comment and we'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks guys.